Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And no, this is not a review. It's a toy haul of my toy haul of this month in... Give me a second to look at my date, what month it is. I forgot about it. <laughs> what month is it this month? April... 21st so it's April this month so yeah this is my toy haul of April of this month we got some epic toys in here that I picked up we got this Transformers Kingdoms deluxe class Autobot tracks based on the 1980s Autobot tracks and I got this specifically because I wanted a new version compared to my original version. Which, as you see, this one's better. This one, not too bad, but I like this one for G1 accuracy. So, we will be reviewing that next month before I go to the exchange. We got that and Dark Magician Girl to do the previous week before Monday, so... Monday the 15th of next month, we'll be hitting up the exchange to get some more Transformers figures. But I got these for my collection. Why not? Next on the list, we have a 2017 figure to review for next month. And this is Transformers Energon Igniter. Dropkick in his car mode. And I did not have this guy in car mode. Had his helicopter mode. And that's about it. But now I got him, and he will be reviewed next month as well. Definitely some stuff we're going to review next month for some epic Transformers. That's from Transformers Bumblebee movie that came out in 2017, which is six years ago. And of course, we got some more figures. We got this Megatron mitten package from Dollar Tree I got for... 50 cents on clearance and I love this me version of Megatron because he's the gun and he has a big fusion cannon I will be reviewing this next month as well why not next on the list we for my toy haul from eBay we got the transform not transformers but Yukio Dark Magician Girl from 1997. So this is some 90s Yukio. And I don't have her original staff, so I just used this random magic staff I got from the Goodwill outlet to fill in for her magic staff. So otherwise, this is a good-looking figure, and I'm so glad to finally have this one in my Yukio collection. I will do a comparison with that next month next to the, my model kit one, which is a whole lot better. And speaking of clearance figures, this is the last one I got from for this month. And this is the Dino Strike. Color change. Five surprise dinosaur. I don't know how the color change works, but this is definitely going in my Jurassic Park collection. And I got this for clearance, so why not? Dare I say, why not? And that's everything we, we will be reviewing next month. And if you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.